Hello boys and girls. Today I want you to learn about coordinate pairs and plotting coordinate pairs. The learning targets that I want you to demonstrate to me today include being able to read a coordinate pair correctly and plotting a coordinate pair or pairs on a coordinate plane correctly of course. Let's begin our lesson by looking at a relationship between coordinates. You're going to notice that I start off with an xy table, and that's really relevant to understanding coordinate pairs. All coordinate pairs are based off two values, an x value and a y value. This is a table that just looks like an xy table. If you look, read this vertically, you'll notice that all your x values are here and all your y values are listed here. But do you notice something else about your x values and about your y values? Well, you may notice that the x values increase by 7 and that the y values increase by 8. Does that mean anything? Sure it does. It means that there's a ratio between the x value and the y value. The ratio between x and y, according to this, is 7 to 8. For every 7 units, there are 8 units. 14 to 16 ratio. For every 28 x's, there are 32 y's. You could also argue that y is 1 in 14 hundredths times larger than x. This is actually a typo, but if you look at the ratio, it's 7 to 8. And you could argue that y is 1 in 14 hundredths times larger than x. Now, the next thing that I want us to look at is this table, but with a different twist. I want us to imagine these not just as an, or not, not just, I, I want us to imagine this table not just as a table with x's and y values. I want us to understand that this table could represent coordinate pairs. This may look a little familiar to you. If I place a parentheses around the pair of numbers 1, 2, 2 make a pair, with a comma in between, now it looks like something you might have seen before. This, boys and girls, is what is called a coordinate pair. And every coordinate pair has two values. One of the values is the x value. It's always on the left. It's followed by the y value, which is always on the right hand side of the pair. Again, these make pairs because there are two numbers. And within the pair, the x value is always on the left hand side. And the y value is always on the right hand side of the pair. This is important to know because when we plot coordinate pairs on a coordinate plane, we really have to make sure that we're plotting our x values correctly on a particular axis and our y values correctly on a particular axis. All of the x values, as you later see, are plotted on the x axis, which is also known as a horizontal axis, and all of our y values are plotted on the y axis, also known as the vertical axis. So anytime you're plotting an x value, 7, 14, 28, or 35, it will be plotted anywhere between here and here. This is the x-axis. And then anytime we're plotting a y value, it will be plotted anywhere between here and here. Let me teach you how to read these coordinate pairs. We read them like this, 7, comma, 8, 14, comma, 16. And we actually do read the comma when we are reading the pair. Let's take a look at a coordinate plane. This, boys and girls, is a coordinate plane. And one of your learning targets is to be able to plot coordinate pairs on this plane. You'll notice that this coordinate plane has one, two, three, and four quadrants. The word quadrant has a word quad in it, quad meaning four. It has four quadrants or four sections. 
take a look at the number line because or the number lines because the number lines is r are really what make up or create this quadrant or, or this coordinate plane I should say the coordinate plane is created by two number lines so let's take a look at the first number line I'm gonna highlight the first number line in yellow the first number line is the X axis and this is what it is and it ranges in this case from the lowest value, negative 10, all the way to 0, and then all the way to 10. The other number line on this coordinate plane is the y-axis, and it too ranges from negative 10 all the way through 0, and then 10. So, a coordinate plane has two number lines, and this is a uh, something you'd have to be aware of when you make your own number line that if your x-axis starts or if your x-axis is lowest value is negative 10 and its highest value is 10 then your y-axis value will also be its lowest value would be negative 10 and its highest value would be 10 they both have to have the same amount of numbers on them and they both need to increase in the same amount of incremental value. In this case, the x-axis increases by 1, and it decreases by 1. The y-value decreases by 1, uh, and it increases by 1. So, not only do the number lines have the same amount of numbers on them, and the same range from negative 10 to 10, negative 10 to 10, but they also go up in the same amount of value. Um, and each increases or decreases by one. Something that uh, something else you'll notice about a coordinate plane, boys and girls, um, is that some of the numbers on the number line are negative, and this makes a difference when plotting. You'll notice uh, the numbers on the x-axis that are negative are over there, and the numbers on the y-axis that are negative are over here. So I pose this question to you which part of the coordinate plane or which quadrant 1, 2, 3, or 4 will always have two numbers in a coordinate pair that are negative? Then let me ask you another question without me highlighting anything. In a coordinate plane which quadrant 1, 2, 3, or 4 will always have the two numbers in the coordinate pair be positive? And then let me ask you another question. In a coordinate plane, which quadrant, 1, 2, 3, or 4, will always have at least one of the numbers be negative and one of the numbers be positive? Let's take a look at this before I show you how to plot and before we finish the lesson. If I'm looking to plot a value like 6, 7, I first have to identify in the coordinate pair which value is x and which is y. We study that the first number in the coordinate pair will be the x value, and the second number in the coordinate pair will be the y value. So, in this case, when I plot this coordinate pair, I first want to look on the x-axis for the number 6. So, I can start from the lowest value and go this way until I find 6. This is negative 6, so we would not start there. This is 6. We would start here. Okay, so we found 6 on the x-axis. Now, what we have to do is find 7 on the y-axis and have them match up or meet. So, I know I'm going to start here with 6 on the x-axis. This is 7 on the y-axis. A mistake that some kids make, believe it or not, when they plot is that they plot 6, 7 as 6, and then 7, which is not correct, because this is an ordered pair that is plotted to make one coordinate plot. So we read 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and now, because the y-axis is a vertical um, axis, we have to go up or down on it. Now, the y-axis number is 7. If I go down on it, I'm going to read numbers and reach numbers that are negative. If I were to plot 6 and then 7, this would be incorrect. This is not 6, 7. Instead, this plot right here is 6, negative 7. I'm going to plot 6, 
positive 7. So here is 6. We establish that because on the x-axis is where the first uh, number is found. And then on the y-axis, on the y-axis, we have the second number. So we started with 6. Now we're going to go down or up. Well, it's a positive 7, so we're going to go up from 6. And this, boys and girls, is 6, 7. The first quadrant, boys and girls, you'll notice, is the only quadrant where both numbers in a coordinate pair are positive. Take a look at the third quadrant. It's where both numbers in the coordinate pair are going to be negative. Don't believe me? I'm going to make a plot right there. And now I'm going to actually go reverse, and I'm going to name it this way. Okay, so I start with my x-axis. I want to find out where this plot is on the x-axis. Well, I'm not going to be reading up and down like this. I'm going to be reading horizontally like this. So the plot is here, so it's not any of these positive numbers on the x-axis. It's not negative 1, because it's over there. It's close to negative 6, but not quite. It's negative 9. So the first number in this ordered pair is negative 9. All right. Well, what's the second number then? Well, it was negative 9, OK? And now we have to decide, should we go up or down? Well, we're going to go down until we reach the plot from negative 9. So we started with negative 9. We went down until we reached negative 3. This coordinate pair is, is read as negative 9, comma, negative 3. And one last example. Let's take a look at a plot over here. So this, where is this? Well, let's look at it. It's, it's, we have to read our x value first. OK. So we're trying to find the value for this. OK. Well, I want to find out what its values on the x-axis is. So we read this way. It's something on this side, because it's all the way here. So it's got to be a positive number. Um, it's right above the, or the 10 is within the same uh, line as, as this plot. So we know this is 10. But let's ask ourselves, if the x va value is 10, what's the y? y is vertical. We have to go up and down. We're not going to go up because the plot's not there. We're going to go down. We reach there, and we go to the side. It's 10, negative 2. You'll notice that the third quadrant will always have both a coordinate pair, or both numbers in the coordinate pair is negative. The first quadrant, both numbers in the coordinate pair are positive. The fourth and the second quadrant, well, one of the numbers is going to be negative. And I'll leave you with this last thought here. Look at the fourth uh, quadrant. The y value is negative. Will the y or the x value be negative in the second quadrant? All right, that's it for today's lesson. Be prepared for tomorrow's class. You can work on a puzzle to um, create a shape based on plotting coordinate pairs. You can plot coordinate pairs randomly, or you can demonstrate your knowledge of reading a pair correctly and then plotting pairs on a coordinate plane correctly in your own way. Thanks, and have a great day.